Older women are too hard to deal with. Before Kevin Samuels would go from being a chemical engineer to one of social media's most popular image consultants. The shirt, the shoe, the hat, the whatever. But a lot, but you rarely, if ever, hear anybody speaking about why it's important. Before Kevin Samuels would find himself involved in numerous controversies throughout his career. I have a full three hour show that I do, and you watched a seven minute clip. I challenge you and your friend to go back to my channel That's and watch the full so 30 minute. Ah, oh, no, so see. Before Kevin Samuels would suddenly pass away at the age of just 56 years old from what's believed to have been a heart attack. Bro, no. YouTube sensation Kevin Samuels, a multi-talented individual who spent the past few years taking the internet by storm through image consultations and dating advice, well, he sadly passed away. The rumors of his death, they sent shockwaves through the Twitterverse and brought about mixed reactions to say the very least. Because it seems like for every person that Kevin helped with his advice, well, he left two or three people more righteously ticked off. Now his meteoric rise over the past few years had a ton to do with the controversy he was able to drum up, particularly when it came to comments that targeted black women. While many saw his platform as a space for some much needed conversations addressing women's accountability and relationships, while others saw him as nothing more than a fraud. Now at the end of the day, an internet icon has passed away, and for those of you out there who didn't know who he was or want to know what he's all about, well, we hope to answer those questions and more while we pay tribute to a man who is gone but not forgotten. I'll see you guys after the intro. Kevin Samuels was born on March 13th in 1969. Now details on his past are far and few between, but it's believed that his parents, they split when he was young. Now as a kid, Kevin, he lived in Oklahoma City and he would attend Millwood High School. Now even as far as back then, well Kevin, he was obsessed with fashion and he did his best to make statements with what he was wearing. That is, even if no one else ever really even noticed, he told the Oklahoma Gazette. I laid out my pajamas and made sure they were pressed. I'd go to sleep thinking about it. I wake up thinking about it. Yeah, I love this. This obsession with clothing, it would lead to what he called a couple awkward conversations with his mother, who was surprised to learn that her son was so image conscientious. But eventually she came to understand and support her son's desire to learn more about the world of fashion. But it would be a while before Kevin entered that world, professionally speaking. After graduating from high school, while Kevin would stay local, he would attend the University of Oklahoma. There he was a member of the Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. He also earned himself a degree, not in fashion, but in chemical engineering, graduating in 1991. Despite his education and training, well, when Kevin entered the working world, well, he started off in a variety of sales roles, in particular, working at Office Depot for a number of years. Now, in the late 2000s, Kevin, he joined a media group working in the sales department. That's before making the leap to an advertising and marketing firm known as the Real Yellow Pages in 2013. Now, it was while working here that Kevin's future career as an image consultant, it would really begin to take shape. Now already known for his trademark tailored suits, well the final push took place when he was working on a PR project for an attorney on the path towards becoming a judge. Now at the time this attorney had an upcoming interview with the state's governor and she turned to Kevin to help her prepare. He accompanied her to a high-end fashion store, picked her out an entire ensemble and at the end of the experience, well she was so pleased with how she looked that she asked Kevin the magic question, how much do you charge for that? At that moment, Kevin knew his bells went off and he realized that he could switch careers to do what he was actually passionate about. So Kevin, he left the Yellow Pages behind and he set up his own image consultancy firm in Atlanta, Georgia. After moving to Atlanta, well, Kevin, he began offering clients advice on everything ranging from personal shopping choices to private styling, brand integration, as well as interview coaching under his banner of Made Men Image Consulting. As you might imagine, with a name like that, well, he solely concentrated on male clients, but he quickly came to realize that this was a mistake, after which he says he expanded his firm to include women and businesses as well. Now he broke his basic philosophy on image down into something he calls BITS, which is an acronym for being in the zone. The question becomes, what do I need to put on my back? There's where a lot of guys get completely confused. 
Basically, Kevin, he would design signature looks for his clients that would work for any occasion, ultimately taking pressure off of them by making their wardrobe both more stylish and more efficient. Now, having spent the first few years of his new career building up his business and cultivating his brand, well, Kevin then turned to social media to extend his outreach, and this idea, well, it would wind up working like gangbusters. Because in the span of just a few short years, well, Kevin would suddenly become one of the most popular influencers in all of America. Kevin would turn to YouTube to create his very own channel where he would begin uploading content on a regular basis. Now, often offering his opinion on a range of topics, from fashion statements to fragrance selections to social issues and, of course, relationship advice. You kind of talk like a traditional man. What's wrong with her wanting to be courted? Nothing if she's truly a traditional woman. But typically, women want to be courted because they want all the benefits of traditional femininity and gender roles, but they ain't bringing none of that stuff to the table. This is just another way of asking you to simp. Now, one of his core principles was how the relationship market defined a high value man with what he says are six core principles. Here we go. One, a man's ability to earn at least $10,000 a month. Two, earning $10,000 a month for over five years. Three, acceptance from a group of other high value men. Four, access to a fraternity like network. Five, an accepted prominent position by society. And six, the ability to be of use to other high value men. Okay, in other words, he was expecting a whole lot. Now, I'm actually happy to report I was able to check off a couple of those. But as you might imagine, however, well, advice like that can also lead to some pretty unrealistic expectations. Especially when you take into consideration the fact that about 10% of Americans' total population of men, well, they earn an annual salary that's, uh, well, that's in the six-figure range. So that brings us to what Kevin Samuels was perhaps most famous for, which of course were his controversies. Having established a strong online presence for himself in the late 2010s, well, it wouldn't be until December of 2020 that Kevin, he would really go viral with the upload of a now infamous video, which was titled, Your Average at Best. Now in this video, he got ruthlessly honest with a woman and what her expectations should be in finding a man. So average looking women tend not to get high earning men they tend to get average men now opinions like that they would split his audience down the middle now men they tended to love him women especially african-american women well they tended to hate his guts but to be perfectly honest, this passion on both sides, well, it only seemed to drive Kevin further. Now, over a prolific few years on YouTube and Instagram, while well, Kevin would continue to upload videos with titles like Do Modern Women Want More Than They Deserve? And ladies, the older you get, the less you get. Ouch. There's no new magic with an older woman because you've lived life and experienced it. Even though Samuels was himself twice divorced, well, it never stopped him from speaking his mind on relationships. And as recently as last week, he was still sparking outrage after dropping one of his most controversial takes ever that unmarried women 35 and over, well, they were considered leftovers. Ugh, I got some ex-girlfriends who wouldn't like hearing that for real. But if you have made it to 35 years old and you're unmarried, you are a leftover woman. A leftover woman. You are what is left. Even his final post to Instagram was musing over whether or not the modern woman was now a party of one. I'm holding out. So I'm going to go num num yurenga toyo maka boka baba la maka rena. Till that man comes along. Why are so many modern women holding out. Now, little did any of us know that only a few short days later, well, Kevin Samuels, he would actually be gone. Now, on Thursday, May 5th, 2022, Twitter was suddenly on fire with rumors that Kevin Samuels, well, he had passed away. Now, this is when Instagram account Plug Talk, they claimed that he had died from a heart attack. Now, it appears that that report had originated from a Twitter comment in which someone claimed to have inside knowledge of Samuels passing from responding officers that had been on the scene. Now, it takes some time for a story to emerge, but eventually a police report came to light, one that claims that Samuel spent the night with a woman in her Atlanta apartment. And after complaining of chest pains, well, he reportedly passed out on top of her, at which point she called for help. Authorities, they tried to revive him, but he was unresponsive. Now, with such little immediate verification provided, well, a war actually broke out between Samuel's followers and his detractors. 
Now, while his fans were understandably upset at the rumors, well, his naysayers took to the platform to shout their joys from the rooftop. Now, it was quite the scene, and I don't know that I've ever seen such mixed reactions when someone has actually passed away, like ever before. I mean, even if a person is generally disliked by a lot of people, there's usually a bit of chill when someone, you know, has actually passed. But hey, not so much with Kevin. Also, it was kind of strange because we couldn't get confirmation, so it left a lot of people time to talk. But here's the thing with Kevin. The guy practically lived to stir people up. So my guess is he probably would have been disappointed if he had died and everyone came together simply just to celebrate. I mean, the way his death stays on brand and how he lived his life for, you know, an image consultant. Well, is there any other greater compliment to give? I mean, he died in the arms of a woman. Pretty, pretty macho man way to go. I got family well, conversation. This is 100%. Um, we, the funeral, most likely, we believe it's going to be in Oklahoma City. I got family confirmation. Now, as I'm filming this video, we just got notification that TMZ has confirmed, in fact, Kevin Samuels is no longer with us. Uh, I can understand why people take offense with some of the things this dude has said in the past, but we can't deny that he was successful at what he loved to do. And for as many people who wanted to plug their ears and not listen to a thing he said, well, there were just as many people looking to preach his opinions as words to live by. And the guy definitely was, he was someone who stood out, got everyone's attention. And in today's world, isn't that like what the economy of clout is built on? The guy, uh, he knew how to, he knew what he was doing. Our thoughts and well wishes are with Samuel's family during this trying time. Uh, please take a moment to leave your own thoughts about the man, good or bad, in the comments down below. My name is Michael McCrudden. I'll see you guys in another video.